Oh my god, wait, rewind the tape. Welcome back. Hi guys. We are three quarters of the way through our series within a mini series, mini series within a series. <laughs> rewind, cut that. The Avengers series, whatever. And it's <laughs> Infinity War week. This is we, what we feel or what we've said all along is the best one. Yeah, do we still stand by that? No, I need it's basically half a film. I need the next one. I immediately oh, wanted right. to watch the next one. I was like, I have to know what happens. <laughs> You're like, you've seen the film. I don't care. Yeah, but also, it's kind of a bit like, well, that they could have just ended it there. That would have been bold. No, no, no. Sorry, they had to have the Avengers strike back moment. Just because it's like um, this reminds me of when we went to watch Toy Story. I'm sure I've talked about this. Is it Toy Story 3? Where there's a where? moment in the film where you all the toys all gonna are die. in the furnace. In the furnace, like, fucking hell. Getting ready to cry. I was like, I getting ready. Cry. I was crying. Fully crying. This is, I don't think I was crying. I think I was welling up. I was like, I cannot believe this is how this story ends. This is such a tragedy. I didn't know it. But for some reason, it didn't feel wrong. It's just like, whoa. And then when they stopped the fight, I was like, you, now you're taking the piss. But then afterwards, I was like, I cannot believe it ended there. And again, went with family. My dad was like, it's the children's film. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I sound like a sicko. He was like, you can't end a children's <laughs> film like that. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. True. And then we would have never of got course. Toy Story 4, which was, oh, very, very it. good. Very, very good. But that was a different movie. Uh, to the one that we're currently talking about, which is Avengers yeah. Affinity War. Um, I didn't know the first time I watched this in the cinema that obviously there was another one. I so I did. I was like, they cannot be serious. That's it. I was devastated. I and the was thinking I was with, I, was like, no, there's another wonder one. if. Oh, okay. So it, it was known. Maybe only. Maybe not everybody knew, unless you like know what's coming up. There'd be a lot of people that wouldn't have realized that there would be an end game no i think at that time it was or did we know <laughs> yeah i think people knew oh well but i didn't i certainly didn't know and i was like oh this is the first time i've ever seen a superhero film and like that the reason yeah. i was so devastated is because um t'challa was there basically and he disappeared and i felt like we just got him and i was like oh, are you yeah fucking are you kidding me yeah you're right I thought that I, obviously there were people that you know had to vaporize but the ones they picked Groot oh yeah you're right that was a kick in the I seat. love Groot oh Groot so much I love teen Groot this was teen Groot right yeah pubescent yeah. Groot <laughs> boy was he not letting it up he was in a bad mood the whole thing <laughs> I want what he's playing Anyway, we're skipping yeah. way forward, way, way, way forward. So let's yeah. start at the beginning or semi near the beginning. Um, God, where do we even start? I can't remember. And I've just watched the film. So we just, um, before this, so there's Civil War, there's Ragnarok. Yes. Oh, yeah, We that's exactly. We start off at the end of Ragnarok. So we're on yeah. Asgard as it's decimated, torn apart. Yeah. Loki's getting the Thanos treatment. Yeah. And as we've always said, Thanos took it too far with that choking. We're not doing that. <laughs> we will, no. but yeah. We're in, well, no. Um, Thanos and his cheap-ass gauntlet. Oh, and Idris was last seen. Yeah. And his final act, getting, uh, getting was... the Hulk... <sighs> These um, Asgardians mm -hmm. are always doing the most. Like, always doing the absolute <laughs> most. Their whole scene, I was like, you like, of course they're like, no! <laughs> My final blast of dark magic. <laughs> like, you guys are so extra. That's why all the Thor films, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> But they have to be because they're, you know, they're gods. So it's, they have to be slightly different. They have to be a bit yeah. more fantastical. And God yeah, bless yeah. them for it. Odin bless them for them. it. Yeah. I enjoyed them uh, a lot. And it's funny. 
it is Eva Malone. <laughs> I just don't understand Seriously. why Thanos wouldn't have killed um, Thor as well, unless he just wanted to do that thing where it's like, you are the last of Guardian, you're the last of your kind, sucks for you. But like, Thor's a god, so it just but feels like a bit of a misstep. He doesn't think of, he's not, it's not like a... Um, Thanos' motivation is actually, although it's fucked up, I think what drives him is because he genuinely believes it. He, it's for the greater good. Okay, but and, I'm so glad you brought that. I am so glad you brought that. <laughs> because I, my problem with, and it's the same with um, in uh, Black Panther, mm-hmm. it's like the villains in this phase, is this phase three now? Yeah. Yeah. Their motivating stories, like the way they I feel like people don't realize that you do realize these are like really extreme, like fascist concepts that they're trying to roll out, and they're not true. Like the idea that if you yeah. have the world's population, we would have, or the sorry, the universe's population, that we would have double the resources, isn't true. The reason there is a there will always be lack. There was There's always going to be an inequality centuries yeah. ago. Yeah. The the that poverty is man-made and I feel like people ignore that that's why that argument is able to gain power and you could even argue that it's very irresponsible <laughs> Marvel for letting <laughs> it run honestly because <laughs> it, it, it no would... one challenges it like everyone says it's unethical because of the like the what the reason it's given it is because it's like the sanctity of life like you cannot ethically just decide who lives and dies you can't just kill people yeah and it's like the emotional pull like the emotional value of humans but it's actually also just not correct it's just <laughs> wrong he, yeah it actually against sense. the fundamental ideology that he's pushing rather yeah than also that, that. He's, he cares <laughs> I thought you guys are all geniuses like, <laughs> this is dumb <laughs> um, and he's like saying to um Gamora he's like now that they're little girls who will never go to bed hungry. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> Unless he's saying that it's like a world war where people are radicalised afterwards because of the horrors of what's just happened. <laughs> you know, like after yeah. like, in, so sorry guys, you know all they teach you British history is like World War One and Two. So after each of the wars, there were like big changes. Like that's why England is technically a socialist country because... After yeah. the war, everyone's radicalised and they want change. So his theory, <laughs> <laughs> it's shaky, shaky at best. Anyway, sorry, I just really wanted to say that because it was annoying me. I was like, why is nobody telling him this is a dumb plan? <laughs> well, because and nobody else is thinking like that either. I guess they're, they're dealing with the urgency of the situation. But yeah. they have time for all the other quirky one-liners. <laughs> I think it would take more than a one-liner for for that no. conversation. Somebody could just be like, "That's the dumbest thing." People would. <laughs> st- <laughs> also, like Tony Stark being a billionaire. Sorry, guys, not <laughs> realizing what I'm doing. <laughs> He's the wealthiest man, right? This is Ever. the film. Must have to yeah. be. It, this it, so this much is resource. the film where so much he like pays for everyone's research, which I actually think is a really cool idea. But whatever. He's like this super wealthy man. He has resources. He wealth hoarding is and capitalism is the reason that these people are going to bed hungry. This it's not a lack of like resources. Somebody could tell Tony Stark, you could solve world hunger <laughs> and climate change with less than it would take you to make suits for all the Avengers. And he's Sorry. like, nah. <laughs> I was I've just rebranded from making uh <laughs> Weapons so me to go war. out in old Avengers <laughs> outfits? Are you crazy? No, yeah. he'll be like, I get a lot of this wholesale. It's not that expensive, he's, especially not exactly. now I have a vibranium a, connection. A, why does no one think about like talk about how, how he's a war profiteer? I do touch on it. <laughs> touched on it <laughs> <laughs> in Iron Man One and Two because his origin okay. story is that Stark Industries made weapons. Like you know how you see his dad like in the. Um, yeah. Captain America films, whatever. But they yeah. made weapons. But by the time it gets to him, they're making like weapons of mass destruction. I think that's what they were. 
sorry, I forget what a weapon of mass destruction is because it's like, what's a weapon of low, what's a low impact weapon? <laughs> yeah, I think anything that Top Stark produces feels pretty mass <laughs> destructive. Yeah. But yeah, that's what he was doing. And he didn't know that his weapons were being sold to the quote unquote enemy, which brings about okay. questions. Like for him, his big thing is that he didn't want to sell weapons anymore because he saw what the weapons were doing. And he felt yeah. like this is regardless unethical. of whose hands are yeah. in. This yeah. is unethical. We're not doing. He's this. like, I want all the weapons. They're mine. <laughs> I am. The I will now. keep them for myself. You know what, guys? I don't trust you to dole out justice, so I will. Not me. Sounded like the UN in the last film. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's what. So he he's like just around about come to this idea. Like he's not. He's never really presented just like the moral compass, is he? He's quite a no, strange. Yeah. His morality is strange because he does have like really like hardline ethics, but it's just like, you just we're just never sure which way. They're gonna go. It's none of it's based on like there's some. I feel like in some programs, not necessarily in classic hero shows like the ones based on old comics that he's prone to know and love. But I just mean like so. Um, like people say this about the boys that that, that show openly like critiques capitalism and even in like Luke Cage you can see like uh there's more of a critique on race and I haven't seen mm-hmm, Falcon mm-hmm. Winter Soldier but I know no, race is more not touched on in that but I just think that this event these Avengers as they are like I can't think of anything they don't really get to the problem with the idea like for example sorry guys I'm doing too much I'll just I'll stop talking after this but for example, in Black Panther, the villain story, oh, can I just say, Michael B. Jordan, God damn. I know that sounds <laughs> stupid, but I forgot. I know it sounds insane that I forgot that, but I, <laughs> I forgot. I was like, what? But if you put Sorry. anybody that it, you find attractive in, like, regular life... In a, in, a Marvel in, film. Like, in a Marvel film, you give them a suit, you give them the moves, you give them the, like, zoo, zoo, like, come on. But he's That's... like, I don't like his character. I, he's a rare case of like, I can be attracted to a villain. Mm. You know that. But yeah. he's a rare case of I genuinely hate his character. But I still, when he ripped his shelf, I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. But it was just like... It's a visceral I, reaction. I, I, I was it's not, you can't... to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> This is why I put. Anyway, sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, he's sorry. Back to the serious point I was trying to make. His character's idea of like we've been colonized, Africans have been colonized and sold uh, and enslaved, mm-hmm. uh, especially in my ancestry. So now I'm going to use the te- te- technology of my ancestors to do the same to others. Like everyone's like, oh my god, no! But no mm-hmm. one actually says why that's unethical. They don't really get break into like down. the battle of the like or not even break it down on a base level it's just like seen as that's wrong and I feel like sometimes what happens is the audience kind of sides with the villain a bit because they're like oh but that makes and it's, it's not just like that no. yeah like <sighs> that's why I was getting stressed after Black Panther every time someone said I kind of saw it I was like <laughs> <"N-> <laughs> no <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know about all that but yeah Sorry. anyway this th- this is a real um digression because it's not about the movie at all yeah. um and also a uh trigger warning what's the um, trigger warning because it is about um sexual assault okay uh, I'm so but yeah last week um I went to see a primer fasci uh, which is a a play it's actually a monologue um okay. that Jodie Comer you know Jodie Comer she's uh in Killing Eve she's in uh she's a villanelle lady yeah. yeah 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 she's a fantastic actress amazing so she delivers this um one woman show How uh, long is amazing it? um it's like a an I think a a hundred minutes or something okay. that, yeah or maybe yeah it's quite long and it, no break because it, it, she's it's just her on stage talking, talking, oh talking. my gosh she does it for the full hundred minutes in a break <laughs> well yeah don't quote me oh, on 100 on. Minutes, it's long, yeah. <laughs> Not and, and it is, she still. is 
absolutely amazing amazing, and I can't even if it's just you on your own talking about any any other subject but like it's quite a heavy subject matter yeah um so essentially like the the play is about um she's a a lawyer she's a barrister and she kind of like talks about her life and how she got up to the point of being a barrister and how she um uh, is a defense lawyer and she often like because she's a defense lawyer you just get given or barrister they you should you have she just takes any case that lands on her desk because um it's you know you kind of have to or she feels you have to so she ends up um defending a lot of um people that have been charged with sexual assault and it's kind of about how she deals with the um the the uh victims on the stand giving their evidence and kind of tries to like call into basically show is there a is there reasonable doubt that this person didn't know that there was no consent? Um, and then, as as the play goes on, she actually then one of her uh, she starts sleeping with one of her co-workers, another barrister. And on uh, one night out, he unfortunately, oh, sorry, this I'm mess, stumbling this up. He assaults her. Um, and then she reports it to the police. She ends up, she has to wait like over two years to have a trial. And it basically, it kind of shows how broken the, the justice system is in the way that we treat sexual assault survivors. And they end up, it's almost like they're the ones put on trial on because trial, they're yeah. the ones uh, that have to relive everything and are made to feel and a gaslit on uh, the stand in front of everyone. And it's just awful and it's stupid and we shouldn't. And of course, when you're talking about these things, you're not always remembering things in order. So it may seem like your story is inconsistent, but how can we expect consistency from somebody that's, you know, trying to, having to recount that story and relive that so many times. And so it's an incredibly, incredibly powerful and moving um, play. And like the women in everybody was crying. It was so moving. And the guy next to us, after it ended, was just like yeah. that woman like that was incredible I mean she deserves an award for that and if she doesn't get an award for that then there really is no justice I was like you can't use that analogy of there not being any justice when we literally just heard about <laughs> how there is no justice for something much more serious it was like if that's what you've taken from this what the fuck this this really- meant for you. This message was meant for you, you idiot. No, that's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to laugh because it, I could. I, God, guys are dumb. Guys are dumb. It's Women not just are literally that. Just it's like, like, I, I'm not disagreeing that guys are dumb. No show to men, but um, because. <laughs> I, d- I don't have the statistical information, so you guys will have to look it up. But e- even in, like, um, if we're dealing with um, men who are victims of sexual assault and rape, it's usually story, another yeah. man who is the perpetrator. Mm-hmm. Obviously, look it up yourselves. But um, I feel like I realised this. I'm I very slow. Like, guys, I know it's not a hot take. Some people will be like, duh. But, like, I really realised the limits of art or um in its various mediums as being able to penetrate through that the bias like it's like it's more like for the person who maybe has experienced it it's not necessarily going to Mm. educate the person who hasn't yeah 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 and I I was realizing this and realizing this and then in 2020 I I released an EP and then I was on Twitter obviously I don't get a lot of mentions I'm sure I've mentioned this before and somebody had added me liking my music Mm -hmm. so obviously I saw it because I don't that does have never happened and I went on their page and it was like (laughs) so like specifically anti-black woman so it was just like bang (laughs) I'm so glad I'm giving you entertainment. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it was so weird. And I'd been realising it anyway. I was like, oh, my God, that's so funny. It's like when you see, like, really misogynistic uh, men who gradu- gra- uh, 
gravitate towards like women a perfect example would be the whole Nina Simone thing where um Chloe Bailey performed Nina Simone's Feeling Good in like a very Mm -hmm. sexy way and people were like Nina Simone would be Raleigh (laughs) Right. And it was like <laughs> Nina Simone was like an openly sexual woman. Like, yeah, you're the one that's taken that. Like, you you changed her. <laughs> Did you know her personally? <laughs> like, yeah, people are very odd like that. But yeah. yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, I just feel like there's a limit for art to teach. Even though it's a shame because for me it's my yeah. favorite medium. I think that is why come to love television so much as an adult compared to when mm-hmm. I was a child it was more like but as an adult I'm just like you can literally reimagine worlds with through this it's just yeah it's great that's why when it doesn't fully reach its potential it can annoy you a little bit but then I guess we've answered our yeah. own question because even if they had given the villain small debt people would be like <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't think of anything. And it's like, choke it to death. <laughs> like, no one cares. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, sorry also, about that. She, I oh, really God. want to know what you thought. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> we're yeah. always like, sorry for being serious. Now we're going to have a ridiculous conversation. <laughs> I just, I really just had to share that because it, it, it made me, it made me chuckle. And also just a shout out to that play because it really was incredible. Yeah. And yeah, she does deserve a, a, an award, no doubt. I just think it's so tone deaf to make that <laughs> parallel. That and analogy. Really is an yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You're gonna set me off on. Have we talked about the Lamar song? If there's any justice in the world. If there's any justice in the world, and um, I don't. I would be your I man. Know. You would be my girl. So you're saying out of all the things, <laughs> if there was justice in the world, of all the things, number one, we would be going out together. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. I love that song. I love Lamar. Oh, it's albums on CD. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Right about oh, now I'm 50, 50. <laughs> <laughs> when you decide, don't let me down. <laughs> what? I'm don't let me down. Yeah. No pressure. It sounds like she's in a horrible relationship. You're like, listen, <laughs> when you decide, don't let me down. You better make the right decision. <laughs> guys, read the lyrics for yourself. What did you think of Thanos's henchman? Henchman? How did hench, you say that? Hench, people, hench aliens, henchmen. Henchman. It's yeah. Hench, hench, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> 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 this happens every episode, it's fun. Because um, I thought that he was so, again, doing entirely too much. Which one? So in the opening like scene, the main, you have the Asgardians oh, just being themselves, so extra. And then you have this guy who's like worshipping Thanos out loud. He's like, hey, ye, hey, ye. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, Thanos. The <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Thanos. It would not be the first time somebody's called Thanos Daddy. <laughs> He's literally a father of Thanos. <laughs> You may be a terrible father. Imagine having a father who killed your whole family. No, and don't. We don't. We're not laughing because not in the real world. Yeah. No, this Lord knows that's probably happened a lot in this messed up planet. But yeah, that's and he's like saying to Gamora, he's like, "That's such a classic trying to hold your dad accountable, but like the most extreme version." He's like. I literally adopted you. She's like, you killed my family. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> um, we have to. We have to get to this right. Yes, and Arthur's little sidekick. He loves him. Around, adores him. Is that the same guy from Loki's thing who he met in space? Yeah, I think so. I hate that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know I hate that guy. Yeah. I don't think that uh, the uh, CGI, is, if that's what it's called, for him will age well. He already looks dumb. That's going to look so weird in the future. Why do all of the aliens have to be like or, like main character energy aliens? Why are they all so humanoid in appearance yeah. and anatomy it, from the anatomy that we can see? I <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> as in they've got two arms, two legs, two eyes, nose, mouth, you know, yeah. head, shoulders, knees and toes, the whole shebang. Ladies, let me see you get down low. Um, <laughs> maybe because, <laughs> don't hate me for this answer, guys. Maybe they need to be able to breathe oxygen to travel to Earth so frequently that maybe that's why they're always fucking here because there's only so many planets they can go to. Because please tell me why. <laughs> I agree. There's so many times, like, in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, why is... Is his name Finn? Peter Quill. Sorry. Why <laughs> is Peter... Um, why is his... What, fair enough, his dad is a shapeshifter, but at his core, he has a human skeleton. That would never happen. Yeah. yeah. Why is um? I can't remember. <laughs> I just need more than just give like a change of skin color. You know. Yeah, you want real aliens. If you want real aliens. You're gonna have to go to Star Wars, and even then, they will have two eyes. True. Or Star Trek. Probably more. Star Trek, way more. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Star Trek. The- Thing we all love about Star Trek is they like all have like different behavioral patterns as well. Not yeah, just, just cultural, you know. socioeconomic <laughs> languages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout I out mean, to the Star Trek universe. Groot is a tree. But again, that's just something from Earth. Why are they always on Earth? Why is Earth so important? I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. Because <laughs> Titan looked pretty nice before it got completely shitted. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, why? Serious question. Asgard, amazing. Why did they have English accents on Asgard? For so shorters. true, yeah. I don't know. Why are they English on Asgard? For the, for the... I, I actually do like Thor's accent, though. I like his voice. Sorry. <laughs> you don't need to apologise to me. You know how I feel about him. So like the only, like, non-English actor doing it. I'm like, he's the one I like. <laughs> Looks I like great with his uh, haircut. Oh, yes. They gave him a haircut for a reason. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, my God. I felt the same when I saw Captain America's beard. I was beard. like, okay, beard. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beard. Yeah. Sorry. We will stop objectifying. Okay. Can somebody tell me why? Now Now we have to get into it. Yeah. Why? When did Wonder and Vision become a thing? When did Vision change okay. his, like, outside to be, to be a, a human? Like, it, it's not in any of the films that I've seen, but they do say, the only film I haven't seen at this point is Spider-Man, don't want to talk about it. The only um, thing they say is Tony Stark, when he's introducing them, is like, he's evolved. It feels like a natural progression, to be honest. Even though they don't explain it, it makes, it, it, it flows, that they're together. It doesn't seem that crazy. I don't think it's that crazy, but it just feels very... Sudden. Yeah, it, I don't think it did. Maybe because I've seen One Division and I can't get that out of my mind. It seemed because when I was on the last film, I was like, "How on earth are they going to make me believe this?" But by the time I've gotten through all these films, and then he was like, "He's evolved," and they're jumping to these characters. Where where are they now? <laughs> it kind of made sense. It did make sense. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, their love story wasn't evolved, and yeah, he does look better as a robot. Is that problematic? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I was, yeah, they were all right in the film. I wasn't rooting for them. I was rooting, obviously, I was, guys, I was rooting for them, obviously, because I didn't want everyone, <laughs> I didn't want Earth to perish. But I wasn't hard-pressed about them specifically. No, it was a bit shit, obviously, that Wanda had to be the one. She does eventually... She breaks the Mind Stone. She kills the, her one true love, and then Thanos just takes. It reverses it. Yeah. Why? That's a bit hard to take. Imagine if you. So that's in in that sense, I was happy for her that she was one of the fifty percent that got vaporized. Because <laughs> I think that would be pretty hard to live with. She 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 didn't really. It was, you know, no backseas. But yeah, there is a backseat if they're not dead. <laughs> But she's not in control of the backseat. I guess. Um, like, she didn't really kill him. She tried. It's attempted at this point. <laughs> it's attempted murder. Okay. 
<laughs> she did. Well, you applied for spoke. <laughs> Euthanasia. Oh. Say? Yeah. But also, okay, so there were two main faults of this film, which you just reminded me of. Okay. If Wanda had just done that in the first place, none of yeah. this would have happened. Yeah. And also, if Quinn didn't Quill. punch Quill, didn't punch, sorry guys, the fact oh, that I'm like, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy is my favourite film, but I can't remember <laughs> his name. If uh, Quinn hadn't punched Thanos. Quill. <laughs> What is going on with my brain? I'm dehydrated. Star Lord, is that easy? Star Lord's better. If Star Lord hadn't punched, um, not me saying Quinn, yeah, (laughs) Thanos, none of that would have happened. So strong, but then, um, what's um, Mantis? But Mantis manages to actually get into his head and like Mm. subdue him. She's fucking strong too. Like, do you really have to go and ruin it? Why did he punch? Like, oh, because Gamora died, but punching him isn't going to bring her back. It won't help it. Punch him when the fucking glove is off. Crimes of passion are no longer a defense. And almost had it. Peter Parker almost had the glove off. I was really annoyed when he did that because I was like, that was so unnecessary and dumb. And I blame you specifically. You and Wanda specifically. This is your responsibility. But then I realized, like you said, that Peter Parker almost had the glove off. How are you going to tell me that Peter Parker and Iron Man are just going (laughs) to, oh, we got your glove. And that's weird. (laughs) Where are you? Now what? And she could only hold him for so long. So they'd hold it until it was off him. And Iron Man starts doing something to put it in some force field or whatever. Thanos is going to get his glove back. Well, um, I know. I think, no I think, yeah, they would have been able to overpower him because he wouldn't have been as strong. And um, Iron Man would have put the glove on. You know he would. You know he wouldn't have been able to resist it. Not just prick. But he can't, oh, he can't take that much power. Qu- Quinn would have had to do it. Why? Because he's half, he's a half um, alien. Half a god, a celestial being. Is he? Yeah, his daddy was a celestial being. Half a celestial. Wh- which celestial being? He wasn't just an alien. No, I can't like... remember. So, like, when he met him, he was, like, in his human form, but then he realises he's a god. That's why Quinn was able to... Hold the power of the um, Infinity Stone in Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Okay. But then again, he couldn't hold it for that long. So maybe he wouldn't have been able to take it like that. But then that's what the glass for, right? <laughs> take the edge off. Then how is everybody <laughs> fucking walking around with the Tesseract? And the, the, the scepter, is that because it's They're contained? something, yeah. Right. The power's contained. Sorry, okay. <laughs> there are just lots just of rules it. here that, you yeah. know... <laughs> This is a very yeah. convenient. Pop a condom on, or there'll be trouble. Uh, okay, right. Very much flip flopping all over the place, as per. So, is Ant there anything Man else that you want to do? Because <laughs> Ant Man is trapped. Where is he? I don't know, but it's explained in um, Ant Man 2. In, I don't, well, I, oh, I would yeah. assume so. No, it's okay, explained in Endgame. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Well, I, sorry, when I say explained, I'm really, that's a, that's a reach. <laughs> what would he have done anyway? The, oh my God, the, I do prefer Marvel's feminism to Game of Thrones season eight feminism. But there was one, like, Natasha had this really it, girl boss moment. Where I very, like, Sisters together feminism, yeah. you know? Like she's it not alone. No, it no, was loved good, it. Though. Great. I really enjoyed that scene because uh, I like it when um the women characters have as much grit, you know? They're not like mm-hmm, fobbing mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. off. Yeah. And I felt like that, especially with that weird villain woman. And the way that she died, that was a good <laughs> But Natasha said, I, I don't know what she said or what she did. I think it was a facial that, expression that made that, me like. That was oh. gross. <laughs> no, you did too much. I don't I can't remember. I think that was gross. It didn't really move me. What was. But yeah. I can't I'm remember. Think I think it was just a subtle facial thing. Where I was just like, you know, that little half smile she does where I was just like, stop. Oh, okay. Well, like <laughs> when she taking me out of something. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I did. Um, yeah. 
loved it. Loved them being in Wakanda, super cute. It felt more like they were there than when I watched it in the cinema, which I didn't really. It felt a lot quicker when I was in the cinema. It felt very slow. Mm. They were there for a long time. Yeah, they're there for pretty much like half the movie. At yeah, least. yeah. They go honestly. They, you're right. I think the first time I watched it, I feel felt like things went a bit slower. Yeah, but yeah, you literally just said that, so I don't know why I'm proposing it like it's a new idea. I thought you were arranging your thoughts because no, I, don't know I, I was <laughs> just just in the same way that you had previously done. Um, and if this, if so, if where did he get first, the first two? Hmm? Where did he get the first two Infinity Stones? Because he already had two, right? No, he already had. He had one from Guardians. Can't remember which one it was. Then he got the Tesseract one. Can't remember which one that is. So well, then he had two. That first one, because in the Guardians of the Galaxy, Finn had. That's the one that Finn had. Quill. Quill. Oh my God! What is going on? I hope he's actually called Peter Quill. Otherwise, I'm correcting you for no be. reason. That would just make this funnier. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I just, I don't even know what to blame. The heat. We'll blame the heat. Yeah. Is he even um, called Peter? Yeah. So it would yeah. be weird. At the t- well, I always got Peter Quill and Peter Barker. I guess there could be more. He is a very popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's supposed to be Star Lord. It's just no one calls him that. So in. Um, the first Avengers, what that that was basically um oh another week Star Wars. Okay. Because I was just gonna say that we had we okay. knock off Star Wars. Um <laughs> now Avengers then we one, had yeah. Avengers 2, which was like knock off uh iRobot slash Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And then this one for me felt very um Lord of the Ringsy, you know, when they just make their own orc army. Well, okay. this one they like just had their army of of uh, mindless brutes the ultimate battle in what uh lord of the rings or this one yeah in this one i wish john snow had been there as john snow that would have worked imagine the crossover yeah it could have worked it could happen with the you know um what's the face strange and the uh mystic arts (laughs) <laughs> he opens out I thought you meant him as his character in the Marvel franchise he just comes he's like where am I <laughs> he's never seen technology and he's in Wakanda that would have been so good oh my god what is this please somebody do the fan fiction and I'll watch the yeah. YouTube adaptation yeah we don't want any of this crossover with uh, Breaking Bad give me the give me the clips <laughs> Give me the crossovers. Um, I'm just going to go pop a light on. It's getting a tad dark, despite the yeah. fact that it is the solstice. Uh, so, Ruth, pick a topic of conversation surrounded by this film, and then we'll talk. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I was trying to catch my thought, which I now have completely forgotten. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I don't know how we got the first thing. Oh, that was it. So the other person who kind of fumbled, and I get, guys, I'm not an insensitive person. I get why they did what they did. But um, Gamora, if she had let her sister die, like she folded straight away. Yes. He not know. straight it away. She did. Uh, she. That was straight away. He did one thing. She was like, it's it. <laughs> also, if, if Quill had just shot Gamora straight away I know that one's a bit of a reach because obviously he was never going to do that but yeah but it was and he did and he not I mean immediately as soon as Thanos grabbed her just shoot her straight away don't don't think he could have changed it as the bullet was coming I mean probably yeah yeah 
but yeah, he he's already to blame once. I don't think that would have made much difference. I think the fact that he punched him out of <laughs> the face in the room in the bar already- was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not pile on the yeah. The let's blame. take it easy yeah. on that. Muffet. He gets one portion of the blame pie. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Gamora gets the least because obviously you're not going to let somebody kill your sister. You're not going to let your dad kill your sister. It's not no. happening. So. Yeah. She gets hardly any of the blame. And I feel like even if she hadn't told him, he still could have found it. He could have just pressed somebody else. It's yeah. It's not like she was really, truly the only way he could have found that. Yeah. But Let's yeah. not forget Loki way back when and him messing around with the Tesseract anyway. Yeah. Like Loki, there's nothing they could have done there. Like he was gonna get it. He was, he was gonna yeah. Take it. Oh, Asgard. I need a signature like that. I couldn't believe that he um was actually well, I guess he wasn't actually dead. I thought that was quite bold. I thought maybe he'd come back, but he was like dead dead. Oh, I thought he came back in then. <gasps> he does, he does because he has his own series, but that yeah. As far as you know, he's dead. Well, yeah, in the, I didn't, and so early on in the movie, it's like, what? Yeah, the fuck? no one ever really does. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, yes, that is any RDs for me. Um, who else is to blame? What oh, do you sorry, think? I'm was, playing the blame game. What do you think was running through Natasha's mind when she sees Bruce Banner for the first time after he's been away for so long? Probably just happy you're still alive and just like, okay, weird. She's over it, seems. Well, not over it, but she's there to, you know, she's like, I'm here for the job at hand. The consummate professional. If there's one thing about Black Widow. I don't think she would have even had time to really, she's just that. Oh. That's what it I mean. She's weird not having time like... to have emotions like Wanda does. No shade because we know that we're Wanda's. Miss Hasha would not have killed Bruce Banner. Not killed, no. Well, but- but I bet okay. Bruce Banner would have killed her. <laughs> and I bet Vision would have killed Wanda. Yeah. She's already kidnapped her, the bastard. Sorry, guys. I don't know where all this Vision hate is coming from. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a bit much. I'm like, do away with him. I'm, I don't care. I feel like that he could have done more to convince Wanda that there was only one way and she needed to break the stone. Without her, yeah. You might have wanted to stay with her. It's not that crazy to want to live. <laughs> <laughs> He's a machine. Sorry, I know. He's Empty evolved, for machines. Really. Yeah. What evolved to have a fucking flesh suit. Oh! Where did that come from? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> My favourite AI that I've seen, idea, is from the cartoon Archer. Oh, I have not watched it. I will try and find the exact episode I'm thinking of and send it to you. <laughs> um, I feel like <laughs> the fact we said nothing. I feel like we've covered everything. Oh, that yeah. last um, Wakanda forever. Oh, loved it. You know, before they all charged? Before yeah. the... Um, yeah. Do I ever? Yeah. That, I, I can't like that. What do you like, think of that tactic, though, of opening that sliver? They had to. They had to. But did they? Because whoever was there was already there. Well, not already there. No, like, how did that person get in? They were they were getting through. So if they'd cir- circled the perimeter, that was very Game of Thrones that moment. If they'd circled the perimeter and started getting through, you can't defend from all sides. It's easy no, to I, defend I from one No, I understand the page. principles of war. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get that. I get the scissor. I, I get just the pincer like as British a tactic. Stuff. Yeah. But what I didn't understand is um, that when they made that decision, like that, they weren't really in. They were still trying to like get through. Some were getting through. You know, I, I feel like they really let so many of the enemy through when they opened that gate and if they'd held on for a little bit longer like pe- the, when they were circling when they could see people well, being circling the perimeter they were still outside of the protective sh- shield so I kind of thought maybe what they were saying is if they get get round and then 
and then the shield breaks then obviously there's no, people no, no. already they were behind. Saying but... If they get round and get through from the other side, they can get straight into vision because there's nobody there to protect it. At that time, but it it just... It wouldn't have taken long for them to circle around. Easier for those, and then they've all gone to vision for for gunpowder. Sorry, so do you think they should have gone to vision and surrounded vision? Yeah, I didn't think about that, but yes, that could have been a good tactic. I thought in split decision, as soon as I saw them go around, I'd have been like, no, they can't get around us. I would have been the same. I just, I'm not sure if I would have opened a. At that point, I think I would have held off a little bit longer, maybe. Because they're not, the thing is, they're not going to, they're, they're not, they're like the dead kind of thing. You know how zombies are kind of portrayed? They're not yeah, going yeah, yeah, they, to run mindless. back. They just, yeah, they're just going to keep going. The ones that are gone aren't coming back. So you're just trying to limit how many have gone. You don't yeah, really but have like, a choice. Yeah, but like you've got Falcon, you've got War Machine that can like fly around. Yeah, but how many, how many of those things is, do they have to fight? I, I I just they weren't they already weren't doing well and the fucking thing was that, that's that is very, very true. Yeah. Um did I enjoy the scene where Thor comes down? Oh, that was hot. <laughs> All uh, no, I didn't lightning mean like, in his... I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. yeah, it was good. With his with his new hammer. Okay. I have to say, um I'm gonna say his name right. Peter Drinklage. Dinklage. Dinklage. Peter yeah. Dinklage. Yeah. First of all, he was looking sexy. Second of all, that scene was supposed to be a bit funny or no? Um, I get yeah, I don't I don't know. His whole um part two was definitely scene supposed to be funny. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of that episode. Once upon a time, where they get off the beanstalk. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, because it's about giants. Yes, that's one. Uh, <laughs> and also a whole family slash race being decimated. Yeah, that's yeah. literally why it's the same story. The bit that made me laugh, which I don't think was supposed to be funny, was when Thor. No, they do make jokes. Was when Thor was standing in the star to hold it open. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When he actually did it, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I was like, "You fucking Asgardians!" Always. <laughs> if you don't hold that thing open, sh- sh- shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. I can't lie. It made me laugh. Oh god. What I liked about it was also that they like didn't show him like kind of lighting up then or getting the strength yeah. of the lightning. They showed him literally burning because he had the full blast of a star on his back. Yeah. <laughs> He's still fallible. He may be a god, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when- oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Going back to the blame game. Yeah. Thor has Our to have a bit game. of it. What did he do? He Not didn't go Thor's for the innocent. Head. He could have killed Thanos. Yeah, but Thor's never he been known for, for his... <laughs> Smart. For his what? <laughs> <laughs> Reasoning... <laughs> No, guys, I'm not going to make the excuse that Thor's dumb because that's ridiculous. Because what's his face? Star Lord is also dumb, but he's he's still dumb. Yeah, no one's that dumb, is what I'm saying. But that made more sense to me. Why would I go for someone's head? Cut somebody's head off. Oh, it's a Disney film, honey. <laughs> Thanos, this is okay. You know how I said last time it's not violent. This one felt a lot more violent. Extremely. Is this a PG? Um, I don't know. Is 13? Is, or maybe it's um, PG-13? Okay. Because like, this is the first one where I was like, this isn't a children's film. The rest of them I felt like, 
I know there's adult themes, but I didn't feel like that. Yeah, I guess they're getting to the crux of it now. Or it's not really for children. It's for it's an it's action film, film now. Yeah, yeah, and it's a bit of a more of a sci-fi as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a twelve. So I guess kids aren't really allowed to watch a twelve. But yeah. is there any such thing as a twelve anymore? Isn't it a twelve A where it's like you can take oh, kids yeah. at your own discretion? Yeah. We recommend the 12 year olds, but if you really want to take your six year old, <laughs> that's fine. By you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're the one that has to deal with the nightmares or having to buy all of the Iron Man masks. So, in our track of mistakes, Gamora gets the least because she shouldn't have obviously you protect your sister. Mm-hmm. Thor then gets less. But my excuse is that an unfair excuse that in the moment, like he just wouldn't have thought that far. He's not like Loki would have gone for the head. Loki would have got the job done. <laughs> Loki tried to get the job done when Thanos but only he had did a one, two terrible infinity job. Stones. Terrible so job. He would not have got the job done no, then. He did a terrible Take job. Take it back. <laughs> oh, fucking Asgard. Get that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sad because, you know, what a way to go. In like oh. the first five minutes of the movie, no more he's air in, He's literally he's Has been his own in series. <laughs> no, no, even before that, he's been yeah. in all no two Thor films. No, no he's been no, in all, all three. three. Thor films. You couldn't have a Thor film without Loki. There you go. And he was in um, he was the main villain in the first Avengers film. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he's had his time next. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, I think, like, he's a great guy. But, but when he was like to Thanos, you will never be a god. I was like, see, it's talk like that that got you in this situation. Can yeah, you guys shut stop? up? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Asgardians. Yeah. <laughs> it's By wrong. your own admission, you're you not Asgardian. You will never be a god. <laughs> Why would you, you see say that now? You will <laughs> never be this. Honey, you can try. You can dress up a tad, but you will never be a god. You can put as many gemstones as you want onto his suit of armor. I don't give a shit. Oh, but he's putting rhinestones on shit and saying you will never be a god. Okay. Oh my god. That glove still is so. Shitty Hideous. to me and tacky, <laughs> McDonald's yeah. toy. Uh, it, that's exactly no, what they it's wouldn't doing. make that now, but that was very much a nineties McDonald's. Yeah, toy. Guys, you wouldn't been... believe the amount of plastic we used to consume. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> that Loved Infinity it, Stones toys. glued on, hot glued on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely toxic in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Um, gosh, Those we're doing a really <laughs> bad job of what? describing Actually, the movie. But I guess I guess I you don't, don't need us to describe the movie for like a real breakdown. I think we've done an excellent job by our own standards. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else did something. Oh, okay. I did not know until last week that everybody knows but me. Bradley Cooper was Rocket. Yeah, I didn't know that. No idea. Love that Rocket. Love that. I like him. Who's character. Ritter? Because, oh, okay, never mind, ignore me. I wonder I also why um, like, Hawkeye wasn't in this. I know why, but also... Hawkeye was in we... this. No, he wasn't. <laughs> they were like, oh... At they... the beginning? He took a deal. No, he wasn't. He took a deal because he didn't, because he wanted to be with his family and he just, he wanted to retire. Am I thinking of Doctor Strange? No, he was in this film. Hawkeye is out, is out of retirement. No. Oh, he's it was Doctor Strange. He came out of it. What film was that? What film? <laughs> There's too many films. Or was it his own? No, it's Endgame. No, no. There's already a film where he's come out of retirement, basically. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, no. No, it's not. It's Endgame because that's when his um, Endgame. I think in the some of the opening scenes, uh, like Hawkeye's family all go, mm. and that's why he comes back. He's not in this film. You're right. I'm just yeah. trying to remember. 
what film he's in, please continue because this will take me nine hours. Great. I just have nothing else to say. Um, let's do a quick Google. <laughs> Things to say. <laughs> on a podcast don't worry guys we definitely do not borrow the people's opinions otherwise this might be a cohesive <laughs> episode um hold on uh infinity war rotten tomatoes let's see what other people have got to say what? sorry i know that we've just said we wouldn't do that but <laughs> yeah it's really bomb okay wait barrel. here's here's a a question how much do you think was the growth uh box office sales well, I went to see it, so billions. <laughs> I don't know. 678.8 million. That's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. I wonder how much they spent. <laughs> mm, it looked expensive just because I feel like the whole time they were on the planet with Thanos, none of that was real. And then the whole time they were on. Um, I know that was real. So say the whole time they were on Wakanda and on Earth, but that was a lie. And even when they were on the other planet, that was real too. So I'm just talking shit. Okay, so for what we feel, this is very true to form, I think. For what we thought, what we think so far is, and arguably out of the four is, is the best film in the franchise. We have no notes. We have nothing to say. Sorry. Okay, he, it was in Civil War he came out of retirement, right? Yes. Yeah. But I then he took a deal What's with the deal? sex... I, I don't know. They uh, Natasha mentions it in this film. Basically, I think he took a deal with the Secretary of State because obviously everything goes to shit in Civil War, so they keep his name out of everybody's mouths. Oh, so he could be with his family. And then yeah. he's okay, 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 yeah. okay. How many times does he try to all do the that? city? Well, yeah, that I was going <laughs> to say. How many times is New York going to be just literally demolished? Well, it is the capital of the world, so let an American tell it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just being silly. Um why are they always in London as well? When were they in London? Like in every Thor film. And he's like, London, London, oh, in London, London, London. Right, yeah. Doctor Strange, London, London. I'm like, why are you people so pressed about the city? I'm not saying it's not important. I just think, why I in the mean, whole universe wait. is Earth so important? Why is New York so important? Why is London so important? Why are humans so important? I don't smart? remember London being in Doctor Strange. Yeah, in the um, first one. I've only seen the first one. The basis for these time continuum people, guys, I don't know what they're called, are Hong Kong, London, and New York. Okay, and Doctor Strange is in New York. Yeah, and then he pops to London. Oh, God, I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember. I just didn't see it that long ago. Anywho, yeah. I feel what like we're we saying is out. Going into the next yeah. one, the main thought is like, where the fuck are you going with this? <laughs> like, how do you, how can you come back from this? But I want them to. Whereas the first one, I was genuinely, the first one, I was perplexed. I was like, what? They lost? Like, I just didn't get it. And then, yeah. Sorry, in the first film? On the first time I saw it. Sorry. Okay, right, first, yeah, yeah. On the yeah. First and now movie. we want to know what's. And now I'm just like, quickly, what happened? Like, even today, I might watch it because I'm, like, genuinely... Because I just don't remember understanding the logic of... I know what happened, but I don't understand yeah. the logic. The, like, the last thing I'll say is there are a few times, like you said, where I felt like... I didn't think about it with the Thor thing, where Thanos could have... treat. It's like he he's very, like, almost like... Merciful. It's like a spiritual Not even. thing, where he's, like, on a quest. He's not... Thinking about he, but, destroying yeah, he has his enemies. And mission. He's so yeah. fixated on getting the glove and like this vision of 
I'm going to get rid of 50% of the universe's population. So I don't need to go about killing people here because like, it's not up to me. I want to indiscriminately kill these 50 people. Not. I didn't think about it like that. I just thought he was like... Well, like his, his goal isn't to kill these, like to murder Thor. He's not that. He's just like, why well, you're... It's like this he feels like he's above it. Like he's just like not even thinking about it. Like he's on the spiritual How did he get journey. So powerful. <laughs> well, he is a um, he's a whatever they're called. What are they called? He's not. A, is he a celestial? I feel like he might be. No, he can't be celestial. He's something so. like that. I can't remember what they they're called. Oh, yeah, he's something. He's related to the. You know, in Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, mm. the people who, what are the actual people who make the Guardians? What are they? Are they Celestials? Are we talking, what? Or is she talking about Eternals? Eternals. Okay, okay. Thank you for um, remembering that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, the Celestials make um, Eternals. What is Thor? <laughs> this podcast is awesome. Not Thor. <laughs> we know like Thor is an Asgardian god. Oh he is gosh, a Norse I'm god. So sorry. Is an eternal deviant warlord from the Moon Titan. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's according to Wikipedia. If I trust him. I don't think that tracks with what Eternals are. Or are we, or should we take that to mean that he was thus created by a Celestial and is an Eternal, but not a good one, a Warlord? Yes, but that feels like a comic explanation. In this Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah, that's it's just, a reach. I know, I think that's, I think that's what happens because I just remember when I was, do my pointless deep dives on the Eternals. I've watched the Eternals. That was like a thing that people were talking about. So I think it's like okay. known. But um, he's depicted in the Marvel Universe, he's depicted as an alien warlord from the doomed planet Titan. Mm-hmm. With a math, I can't say that, Methulsian mindset. Sure. Okay, okay. I'm saying it wrong. I'm going to send it to you now so you can say it properly. Oh god, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We might have to I feel do like a it's phonetic. Methulsian. Okay, Methulsianism is the idea that population growth is potentially exponential, while the growth of food supply and other resources is linear, which eventually reduces living standards. Oh, Malthus, is it? Yes, yeah, Malthus, the, the economist. Ma- but, yes. Sorry, I yeah. Um, now I, I thought understand. he was a for right wing philosopher, but I don't know. I mean, I'm wrong. I don't know. They're also they're a <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the two are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> God, oh, we do have fun, don't we? Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that idea is. A cop out because we've yeah, never no. tried to. Poverty is at the root of so many things, including population growth. growth. Do you know what I mean? We've never yeah, tried yeah, yeah. to share resources. We've never even tried to stop exploiting resources. Like mm. the world is still built on this system where um, there are a few as guardian gods who exploit. Wakanda. If I was Wakanda, I'd have been like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> joking, guys. <laughs> oh my God, after me being like, I don't even know what that villain story was about because I believe in <laughs> human rights for all. Now I'm like, you should have left them outside. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so is the. Is, I can't remember the Black Panther story. The. Is there an Asgardian link there, or was that just a 
No, I'm just being being silly because they're like guardians. Be as guardian, English gods, even though they have nothing to do with English. (laughs) Okay, sure. (laughs) I do. I do prefer. I I won't do that because I I I feel bad saying anything good about the English accent. I feel like every time you say something positive about an English accent, whether or not you know it. You're like buffering up imperialism. I have no theory behind this. It's just a hunch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah if we say that yeah. there are certain perceptions of a British accent, like yeah, often, I hate it when often people villains like, are, uh, in cartoons are British. Makes sense. Is more accurate. Yeah. I see myself as someone of, I don't, I think of myself as a bumbling idiot, like a little cute, <laughs> cute little bumbling idiot. Who do you see, who do you identify with in the MCU? MCU? Absolutely it's yourself. I'm just having visions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending people to God knows where. I don't know if this is helpful or if you asked for it and I don't know what's and I'm literally blasting you through space. Good it's luck like, on the other side. This character is based on like being a sexy protector. It's only in Asgard that being sexy <laughs> is like required. <laughs> like, of course, yeah. I, I know how that sounds because we joked about so many times how good looking you have to be to be, to be Mar- in Marvel. Yeah. yeah. But the, they deliver sexy <laughs> and I'm just saying guys your your like whole planet is under attack why are you giving why are you smoldering there's a reason why <laughs> uh, Thor's vision was an Asgardian death orgy I just say like, guys it doesn't matter what's going on you can never take a break from being hot this is fashion <laughs> like, okay this is Weird. full time <laughs> Mm. Loki's <laughs> in prison walking around like mm, mm. oh yeah <laughs> hot fucking Asgardians anyway I've had a good time with them they're very funny um, that's our, why uh, Tessa Thompson was the perfect fit her character it's like I'm giving hot drunk slow <laughs> like oh yeah <laughs> You're, it's like and I directed really... by Tyra Banks <laughs> alcoholism but make it fashion <laughs> so i'm so sorry you for get on that, that horse <laughs> you better ride it ride it <laughs> friends dying oh, oh. lift that sword <laughs> but make it fashion higher so okay i'm gonna need you to jump down from the sky really push your chest out with the light <laughs> Ooh, you're crazy you're okay the crazy star is burning your skin That's why Cap. There's a scene. Cap. To be fair, Cap. To reckon with that when he was in for that punch. Okay, I'm gonna need you to punch, but really give me this new beard. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) from all angles, but especially that one. (laughs) Oh, guys, I know we bully certain members of the cast, but everybody does it. Everybody does it. (laughs) Sorry, I think in this, I think we're more critiquing entire events. For the past 15 minutes, that's really been about Tyra, guys. Let that woman live, okay? She's (laughs) She's got some great creative direction. Now she would be an excellent villain on the Marvel in the Marvel universe. Come on. She would. She would be, but I I I don't want to say anything mean. Do you think she's more of a hero? Fair enough. No, 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 no. I think she would want to play a villain. I think she would. But I think if she'd, get, she'd get into it too much, <laughs> she would give it too much. And I just don't think her acting chops are there. No, I see. I can think of an exact character she'd be perfect for. Honestly, I can see it in my mind. But I don't think that's how they'd cast her, so it wouldn't work. Like, kind of like that whole, like, you know, when she does this really, like, she oh, doesn't need to. Like yeah. Crazy doll. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. If yeah. they did it in a certain, she because like I feel like there's I other. I'm going to slice you. Yeah. Okay. 
there are like slightly like more comedic actors in Marvel that don't have as much time on screen, but they really like they make the film. <laughs> Let's be honest. They do. They try to sell us the comedy through the Thors and the whatnot. But no, on. I'm here for um. What's that guy? In Guardians of the Galaxy, he's I think he's blue. Benicio. Yeah, yeah. Benicio del Toro. The guy. No, he's not what? blue. No, he's um. <laughs> He used to be a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. No, no. The, the, oh, the, the actual guy. Don, the main, he is I've, I've, one he's of not the, called John Baptista, too. The, he is one of the, the guardians. Yeah. When he's like, no one can see me. I blend into <laughs> the background. <laughs> Guys, I have the sense of the humor of a toddler. So, <laughs> if you haven't already guessed. <laughs> Love that guy, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say I enjoyed this. <laughs> I would say it's not as serious as I remember, and it's not as sad as I remember, and it's not as bleak as I remember. It's actually quite fun. <laughs> it's a fun little film, <laughs> even when they disappear. Maybe because I know they come back. It's like yeah. not as like who disappeared. That I think was like pretty brutal for me. Wanda disappears. Black I Panther wasn't that pressed when it went, oh, no, it went to child disappeared. I was like, no, 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 no. Wonder I was fine with <laughs> for right now. <laughs> reasons I've already said. Yeah, uh, Black Panther was a real, whoa, you're just going to be, t- that was like a, a Game of Spider-Man Thrones moment. Was and you're taking sad. everything. Spider-Man, that was It was sad, but it was like, why did, okay, guys, I know this is just, a, it's not, we're not supposed to think about this hard. Some people, when they, everyone disappeared in a different way, like there was no universal thing, but I felt like when Peter Parker disappeared. Because he, he wanted was, to hold on. But he was like in pain. <laughs> no one else was. <laughs> Maybe because he was holding on for so long and then the, the acceptance of just feeling yeah, like okay. he'd let Iron Man like, down. No, but he was, everyone else, nobody else felt it. It was just like, what is going on? But I think he, it happened quicker because they just, but because he was holding on for so long, maybe please. he was like, "I don't feel so good." Then he was like, "Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right." He yeah. was giving um, Hamlet, and I was like, oh, "Am I thinking of Hamlet?" <laughs> no, 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 no. You're thinking of Tyra Banks. <laughs> when she had a face attack. Uh, I don't, I don't, Since so we're discussing good. the classics, that's what yeah. I was yeah. The great actors of our time. How <laughs> choking on that apple. Oh. Uh, yeah, that I'm was um, that was pretty sad. And then everybody that's with um Tony Stark gone. That was a pretty bleak moment for him. That's kind of depressing with being anyone left. Yeah, well, at least uh what's what's she called? Uh Gamora Pepper Sister. Pig. Pick a pots. Pick a pick pepper pots. Keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, no. Um, Gamora's sister. Ne- I can't remember her name. Begins with an M. Anyway, she's there. Isn't okay. she with him? Oh, God. She, or she goes to find him and that's why. I know for you, that's like your worst nightmare. You're like, what's going on? Oh, I'm not. You're the only one left. <laughs> it's just you and I, man. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I knew I should have gone to a <laughs> Um, I know, I feel... Now that I've watched more of them, a little bit more of a... Yeah. Yeah, he's an essential he, he, leader. And he's a lot less annoying in these ones than he was I at the beginning. Like he's, he's still annoying. He's just like, he needs... That's part of his character. He's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. You just, I like it. You warm to it. you like, whatever. Yeah. Lovable karma. So I that... Like- We've done a so, good job. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's really all I have to say on Infinity War. Um, I'm looking forward to spending the next three years of my life watching Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it more than once because I've always I've struggled with the science. <laughs> so, this, you and me both <laughs> with the magic, whatever. I've struggled. <laughs> If it was magic, it would make more sense. But when you try to make it science, <laughs> like, this doesn't compute for me. As Sorry. It's quantum physics. You wouldn't know anything about that. How And how are you actually really bringing back? How are you going into 
the past and changing things it doesn't make sense but you know no, what there's a lot of things in this world that we don't know yet know but um we have more um this one's all action 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 the next one is more like acting 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 <laughs> that was bad there's more <laughs> there's more um captain america Dialogue. And Rudy. yeah i don't know if they speak much but <laughs> yeah. a lot of sadness there What's is a lot of sadness in the last five years five years <laughs> that's a lot imagine five years of just you've had to don't describe the last three years of my life please yeah the worst thing about coming to the end of this three years is everyone pretending that we're now all we're outside, we're having fun. Everyone is going outside and having fun, but it's not consistent. And so can we again. stop? Why are people still getting COVID? <laughs> not to <laughs> stop. stop. <laughs> Guys, I'm not shaming you for getting COVID. I just don't understand. Like, I'm like, why? <laughs> Somebody said they had it for the second time this year. Yeah, yeah. Didn't I get COVID this year? Was that last year? I've had COVID this year. <laughs> This year, oh, yeah. I'm not about. I literally had COVID. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to some more good times because I feel like the good times are there. It's just I don't have them very like I'm not saying it's bad times. I just mean like it's like more chill and there's like fewer and further between. Yeah. I want to rage, like I want to party, but I feel like there's no back to back to back to back. Mm-mm, no, it's very mm-mm, isolated mm-mm, incident mm-mm. that is semi okay no that's yeah. unfair not just semi okay really nice really nice, really nice. not like you what we want a summer a good old-fashioned classic summer but we're having one it's just very chill like I feel like it's very like even the things we're doing they're really nice it's fun but it's very like evenly paced it's not like I've not seen anybody like popping pussy for more than one night is what I'm saying so I don't know and I know and don't pretend you are and wouldn't post it because you guys <laughs> Mm-mm. Don't lie to me. Okay, I, but yeah. my everything I'm doing is very um, isolated, or it's just me doing. I'm doing nice things. My weekends are really, you know, they're nice. But I think, yeah, hey, we're not... going out. I don't know who's paying for it, but we're going out. So you better <laughs> put your dancing shoes. It's on. probably my my dancing oh. shoes. Birkenstocks, mine. <laughs> My, you know my classic pink platforms I you can't in. wear those because you can't I used to be able them. to no I used We're to be able to I would stop being able to walk the only time I've struggled in those shoes it was like 7 a.m oh yeah mm. wow <laughs> Sorry, you were a bit clicky there. And I was saying that my feet are wider. So it's like good shoes are expensive. So what I usually have is like two or three pairs of good shoes that I wear all the like constantly in rotation. And then just the rest are like cheap shoes. But if my mm. good heels no longer fit me and I have no money to buy new ones, what the hell am I going to wear? Once that, I don't know. For sure. I'm going to be popping my pussy regardless. Not really, because if I look nice nowadays, if I look nice, I just have to sit down. <laughs> I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Gone are the There's... days where I could be like sexy and a little. And now I'm just like I can't get that. anywhere either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to sit like a doll, which is terrifying. This is the and, opposite. But the idea of them being like, okay, well, I'll wear some like sensible shoes to get to the venue, but then I'll just sit there. Also, I can't do that because then. You're carrying around an extra pair of shoes. Oh, I don't know. This yeah. is not. No, it's going to have to wear trainers and a little black dress. It's going to have to be. Yeah, it's the not true a millennial outfit. Oh, <laughs> we do not Liliana. serve it. <laughs> Sorry. No, I think it's also because we don't. Um, remember, we. I feel like the millennial generation was a generation where we. So, not. I won't say we gave up, but we stopped. We were like, you know what, trainers. Yeah, I guess it's a Lily Allen effect. Trainers are cool. We can wear no, these. The office, that wasn't so- Lily Allen. That was drugs. Let's all just be honest. That is why we were wearing trainers. Okay. To the office. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I have never done that. And I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Other people. I don't know anything about that lifestyle. I feel like in my early working days, I would make more of an effort. I would wear a 
be. I'd wear a name, not a heel heel, but I, you know, I wouldn't. I, I would never have worn oh, trainers. I've always been a trainers girl. I've always liked trainers though. Mm. Honey, I was born in Croydon. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I've also always loved wearing heels because I just think it makes they make my legs look phenomenal. Yeah. And there's nothing like that feeling of walking down the street in heels. Yeah, there is. Mm, there isn't mm, anything mm, like mm, that mm, feeling mm. when you're walking. You cannot walk down the street in heels, and you're you've walking seen so it. slowly. You've seen it. Uh, yeah, and it's embarrassing, and your and your feet hurt, and it's like, oh my god, no, I don't like that feeling at all. Yeah, I've got so many it. nice shoes that I should wear, but they're very much more like uh, I need somebody to pick me up take me out in these drop me back home back. or yeah. yeah take me somewhere yeah they're not walking shoes but I don't live that kind of life so I they'll just never get an outing should well, I, I tell them and get some cash yeah but Probably, we're like yeah. no don't, don't you too cute. <laughs> they're just they're too cute. good got some real nice shoes there. yeah you have to keep them and the okay. guarantee what will happen is <laughs> The first time I wear them, I'll break them. I'll scuff the heel. I'll do something. And that's Great. it. Great. My mom has a pair of shoes she's never been able to part from. And every time I see them, I want to wear them, but they're broken. It's like they were, it's, the design is a bit silly. It's like a really soft leather. It's like, okay, these, the pointy shoes, like a, you know, a loamy or flat plastic mother shoe, very pointy within the point at the end. I'm mm-hmm. um, sorry. At the beginning of the way before the point, where the curve is around in the shoe, mm-hmm. um, they've put a little, little tiny leather tee. That's such a cute little pretty detail. Mm-hmm. The freak, the thing flipping snapped. So the shoe is fine. It just looks the ugly best. and it yeah. cannot be fixed. It can't be fixed. It can't even be like makeshift fixed because That's it's such a delicate, delicate yeah. tee. It would just look trash. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It is what it is, man. Very expensive shoes. I wish I could wear them right now. And they're black and pink. Anywho, moving on. Guys, thank you for coming on this journey with us. As always. Cannot Please join us next week. Game. Yeah, next week is going to be our final episode before we take our summer holiday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow. I grabbed my boobs. I stepped back. Um, it was involuntary. You can't um, see it on the uh, video, so... Don't try and look for it, guys. <laughs> if you do, honey, that is a, <laughs> not worth Even if you could, I promise you, I'm very full of myself. That would not be worth it. <laughs> you are wasting your time, <laughs> energy, <laughs> and electrolytes. Okay. Have a See great next week. evening. Yeah. Day. Oh, I don't know. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Wait. Rewind the tape.